What's going on YouTube? Um, I'm back with another video, so listen. So this video is basically about my top five pet peeves that I hate at work. Let's get started. I can honestly say that I hate this. I was just talking to my friend about this last night. About how you work in one place. And then you're comparing us to that uh, to another place. Like, baby, if I work at Walmart, don't compare me to Target. Don't, don't compare me to Target, bro. I work at BJ's Wholesale Club. And we get a lot of people that come in there and shop. You have to be a member that they, they come in there and be like hmm they don't do this at at costco's or they don't do this at sam's club honestly baby nobody asked you to come and shop nobody nobody told you to wake up this morning and bring your butt to bj's like okay that they don't they don't do that like we we save you more depending on what membership you sign up for we save you more. I'm not going to go to a whole little promo about it. I'm going to just tell you that I don't know what Costco is doing. I don't know what Sam's Club is doing. So I don't really care that they don't do this certain thing that you're talking about at Costco's or Sam's or wherever. Just don't do that. Okay? The second thing that I hate is when I call these things the devil. What do you call the devil? I call the coupons. The devil. <laughs> and why is that? Because everybody loves to come in there, use coupons, and read them wrong. If I could pull up a couple of coupons that really... The first one that really makes me mad that they love arguing with us about is those egg coupons or the coupons that tell you the quantity of of the the, the 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 quantity of that product like on the coupon it'll tell you in parentheses two um we'll just say with the eggs we already said if you come in, if you come and shop at bj's you already know we sell everything in there by the bulk. We sell everything in there by the bulk. You can't buy anything small. Let's see. The only things you can really buy small. I mean, of course, still the medicine, like Advil and stuff. But it'll still come up to like $19, $20. Surprising, right? Yeah, I know. Um, But yeah, so... <clears throat> they... The eggs. I'm trying to keep myself focused here. The eggs. There's two cartons of 12 dozen of eggs, which is 24 eggs and one. With that little zip zip line thing around around the um the little the little around both cartons, which makes it one set. Alright. So with this coupon they bring it up and they'll be like, here you go, ma'am. And I'll take it in. I'll be like, ma'am, you have to have two sets of eggs um, in order to uh, take, have, have this coupon taken off. <laughs> two cartons of what? Two, two cartons? It's already two cartons. 
Ma'am, you have to have two, my bad, you have to have two sets. Two, two sets of, uh, of eggs in order for it to be taken up. Two set, baby, go ahead, take it off. And that's basically how that works out. No matter, I don't care if you go get the manager, they're gonna say the same thing. Okay, it's two, that's two things of eggs and one thing. You forget real quick that we sell everything here by the bulk. I know you didn't went over there by them tissues and and paper towels and stuff over there about a good five, six, seven, eight times. And so, ooh, they sell everything in here by the bulk. She know that. Yeah. The third thing is is the same. It's kind of the same as the last one with the coupons. <laughs> the folks that tell you to take stuff off. Just because the coupon, they bought the wrong coupon, the coupon says something totally different, or it's showing something totally different, or it expired. The coupon expired. I hate those people. I really do. Because we get y'all all the time that come in there with a coupon like this. I'm trying to flash a little coupon. And, um... And and y'all, we we tell y'all it's not it's not going through, it's not working, or the coupon expired. Ooh, you can go ahead and take it off. Especially when we get those people that come up there with a whole handful full of freaking coupons. Like you just gave me fifty coupons, and out of these fifty coupons, about twenty fifteen or twenty of them ain't working. Like, if you're not going to get it, why would you, like, re they don't like to, y'all don't, y'all don't like to read y'all coupons. They don't, I'm going to tell y'all this, whoever follow me, I mean, subscribe to my channel, whoever subscribes to my channel, and y'all work with me, y'all can agree with that. I'm pretty sure y'all can. But anyways, number four, we got, <sighs> bruh. I hate these type of people, bruh. The people that say or think just because you work there, you should know where everything is. You should know the price of everything. You should know how to do everything. My my badge, I don't have it on me, but my badge clearly says my name, my uh placement here at this at this facility, and um well, both of my placements at the facility, which was just front door and cashier. I'm also sub checkout, but that's that's not on my. It's not on. That's not on my badge. I hate when people do that. Like, oh, you work here, you should know the price of this, or oh, you work here, you should know what this is. Like, okay, just because I work here, don't mean. I'm I'm sure of the placement of everything, every little thing. That's, do I look like I know where everything is? Hey, I don't know. You don't know? You don't know? You don't know? Do I? No. Last but not least. So number five is basically when you work in front door, asset protection. I'm gonna just say at my job, BJ's wholesale. Okay, so what do we do there? We're basically watching out for all uh, things that making sure everything is scanned, making sure there's no merchandise that go. Basically, making sure that all merchandise doesn't leave the store that's not scanned. If that makes sense, I'm trying. <clears throat> Any merchandise that isn't scanned does not go out the door. Bam. There we go. Making sure that all of our customers, all of our cashiers are on their job. We're making sure everything is scanned. Making sure no customer leaves out of the store with something double scanned or triple scanned or scanned wrong on their receipt. Because if, if look... I'm I'm up there for you. We're up there for you. I will let you walk out of here and have you rung up for 
um, a five dollar watermelon, knowing that you got one of the mini ones, and it cost three dollars. I will let you do that just because you gave me a stank attitude, and you and you rushing. I will let you. I will let that happen. I will make trust. When I'm at the front door, I don't care. I don't. Sometimes, when I'm feeling okay. Other times, you get give me a, give me a crappy attitude. I'm telling you, I I wouldn't care. Um, and I get we get a lot of people. I get a lot of people that come up there, and they say numerous am amounts of things. Talking about some, the first thing that they'll say is, some people that try and run by you with the cart, and then be trying to play and play. Oh, I just wanted to see what she was going to do. See if she's going to run after me. No, I will not. Next person, because you're playing. Next person. Like, dude. Dad, let me tell y'all this little break in here, too, at, num at number five. I will go back to number four, but number five. <clears throat> Working at asset protection, it was one day where this dude, I was not feeling it that day. I was not finna. They they love to come at you and be like, "Oh, you so cute. Why are you not smiling?" Or, "Oh, you too pretty to not be smiling." You need to shut the fuck up. Can I get your receipt? Thank you. Next. Oh, I don't get a smile. Thank you. Next. Like no. But anyway, this dude, so we get walkies. This is clearly keep keep thing, padlock. But we're just going to call this a walkie. So I have my walkie sitting right in front of me on the little, the little thing that's given. You know, the little, little thing. And we're standing there. One of the customers, the man just going to come over and pick it up. And I told, I picked it up, I took it out of his hand, I was like, And then I'm still looking at the receipt. I'm like, and then he comes by and he still picks it up. I'm like, mm. that was I, I did that in my mind with the. Mm. Thank you. Like, why is you picking up stuff? Stop touching. They love to touch stuff. Did nobody actually come over here and pick up my walkie? Unless you're going to stand here and work. If not, then you can leave. Thank you. Anybody got time to play with y'all? <clears throat> y'all can tell I, that really made me mad because I felt a vein come out my forehead too. Anyways, <laughs> it's been a couple of times where, that, where, where we get people to try and run out run out the store people will complain and be like she ain't even really reading everything on that dang receipt she ain't she ain't counting everything <laughs> well ma'am not counting anything i am making sure you have everything in your in your cart and making sure everything is rung up by our, uh, our cashiers Make sure our cashier is getting their job done and ringing up everything. It's not for you. You just stand here and get your receipt checked. If you were in such a hurry, why would you come here and buy two carts full of things? That's your fault. Just because you have ragu all the way up here, but your first cart has ragu in it. Somewhere. And for God giving me some good eyes with glasses you're lucky you don't have to move everything around and i can just look deeply beyond what's on top of, in the on top of the cart and see that i can see that ragu or that asparagus or that celery or that bag of carrots in the bottom of your cart because i can go get a cart real rickety lickety split and start moving stuff around for real don't do it but anyway so here's a little little story time as well. <clears throat> so I had somebody grandma try and come at me wrong. So there's this thing 
I'm gonna start off with this. There's this thing called a called a bow pig, right? It's like online shopping. But little, it's a little device. Um, if I find a picture for that, I'll put that up there. But if not, just listen. The bow pig, it's like it looks like a cell phone. Okay, it looks just like a cell phone, but you go in there and it has like um stuff completely for the job. So, again, I was doing a boat pick. I ended up in this aisle with this elderly lady. And I, th I think she was either looking for raisins or prunes. Either way, they're still in this, that same area that she's standing in. We're both standing in that same aisle. She was like, excuse me, you can get off that phone and you can, cut and you can go and get me some raisins and put them in my cart. Or prunes. Cause I didn't know what what I forgot which one she was looking for, and I was like, "Ma'am, I'm sorry." They would be in this area. I'm not like I said. They they would be in this area. I'm not really sure where they are. If not, if they're not here, then I'm sorry. I'm not sure they are. And I told her I was like, "Ma'am, and this is also for the job. This is not my phone. This is this is for the job." She's like, where's your manager? Of course, she's one of those people that's going to call the manager. <laughs> and I'm going to be right in that sense. <sighs> oh, my gosh. It was my first time doing a bow pick anyway. But, um, yeah, man. That stuff made me so mad. Talking about some, um, you need to, baby, I don't need to do anything. Like, that really, bruh. Anybody that knows me knows that I'm, I'm not one of those people that get heated quickly. But once somebody grandmama think they're just finna, you know what I'm saying? Think they're just finna come up there and think I'm finna just, like, come on, baby. You don't force me to do anything. Baby, I'm here to work, okay? I'm here to work. Somebody come up here and get that grandma Miss Sally Mae because she almost got, you feel me? She almost got knocked out. I almost got into a little altercation with somebody grandmama. Over some freaking raisins or freaking prunes. Talk about some. You better go. Be, what? Better go get what? Oh, okay. Thank you. I would. I better go get the manager. Cause you got me all the way bent. But bring it back to me, myself. All right, everybody. I hope y'all enjoyed this video of my pet peeves. If you have any more suggestions of any 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 more um, pet peeves that y'all don't like or I should add or that I should make another video about, y'all let me know down in the comments below or which ones y'all could definitely relate to because I'm pretty sure we could relate to most of them. So, if I did, like I said, if I missed any or if y'all want to tell me some more so I could do another video, please let me know. Okay? Use use that comment section. Even though of course y'all won't ever do that, but hey. So um like this video. So apparently the audio and the video stopped recording. Um and it cut off on me. So I'm gonna end it right now. I hope you guys like this video. If so, give this video a thumbs up. And if you didn't already, go ahead and subscribe to the channel and share it with everybody that you know. Y'all have a good one. And remember, if you look good, feel good, smell good, then trust me, you do good. All right. Peace.